We got the Gucci foundations. Let's try this out. Now this retails for $69. I have the shades 540N and 550N because if you've been here already, then you know, I enjoy wearing foundations with a neutral undertone. So here's a shade 540N and then here is a shade 550N. This is a full coverage product. It's got a matte finish. Obviously it's a liquid. I see that it has hyaluronic acid in it, but that's good because even though a foundation is matte, it don't need to be like sandpaper. You feel me? So there still needs to be some kind of hydration for the skin to look good. You feel what I'm saying? Especially in person. There are three other shades on what I have right now. So there's 560O, which is olive, deep with olive undertones. Then there's 570N, deep with neutral undertones. And then there's 580C, deep with cool undertones. The pump is so cute. You gotta give it a good shake. Let's take a look at 540N. I think this will be my shade. Oh yeah. I think this is my shade. Hold on a second. Oh yes. Look at that color match. Listen, after you buy foundations for so long, you just know. And I, like I said, have found that neutral is just the best for me. 550 in. Maybe, I don't think I'll get any darker this summer. I mean, it is June, but I was gonna say maybe I'll keep 550 in case I get dark. Let's see. I really could use either of these. What do you think? Comment and let me know. These both have neutral undertones. This one's obviously lighter than this one, but this one is giving me more red and this one's giving me more orange. I'm gonna go with 540N. I forgot that I already put SPF on. I was gonna put on this super goop glow screen, but I want to see this matte finish without anything that's going to alter the finish of it because the glow screen is obviously glowy. Here we go, put this on. I was hoping that more would come out when I pumped it. I don't know. At least it looks like it's not a lot. Let's see, it might spread really well. This is the safe foundation brush that I've been enjoying. It feels nice and thick. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't believe I need these too. Hold on, let's take this off. This is spreading really well. Oh, this shade is great. It's nice and dark, how I like it. Oh, very pigmented. This is definitely full coverage. Let's go over the brows. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wow. Yeah, I did not need that extra pump right here. I don't, I don't know why I started pumping on my face. I really should have just pumped it onto my hand because pumping it onto the face makes it seem like I need three pumps. I'm sure I could do my whole face with two, just FYI, especially at $70. I mean, come on. Now I have too much on my brush. Let's wipe off the excess on the paper towel in front of me. And now we're blending because the first go is to apply it. And now we want to blend it. I'm not gonna take this down my neck because I don't do that anyway. Ooh, this cup, this shade looks good. It's nice and dark too. Face check, obviously this is like 550 would be way too dark. This is definitely my summer shade. Remember how in the winter time, our skin lightens up because we're not in the sun as much. So I don't need a darker shade of foundation. This is definitely giving summer. I'm gonna wear this of course several more times. And if I really, really like it or love it more than I actually do right now at first try, I'm gonna get a shade down, still neutral that I can wear in the winter time. But let's finish this full face and then look at it at the end. I still have been loving this Lancome Tanti Dole Concealer in the shade 500. I normally have been wearing this with a different foundation, which is the Lancome Tanti Dole 555 Suede. See, right? So let's see how this looks on this foundation because I always tell you that when you change your foundation, shade and undertone maybe, it's going to alter the way that your concealer, if you keep that the same, will look, right? You have not changed your concealer, all you've changed is your foundation. It is going to look differently. So let's check this out. I already washed my beauty sponge and squeeze it out, but you always gotta go with a paper towel or a towel and squeeze it some more. And here's the thing, I like going darker with my foundation. I've explained that several times. That's what I like to do, it works for me. When I do my concealer, you're gonna see how the face lightens up because I use a very drastically light color. That's what works for me and it looks so stinking good. Look at that blend. I still like to bring my concealer down the middle of my face. And honestly, now that I've blended this, I don't think it's light enough. I'm gonna go with a different concealer that is a lot lighter. I don't know what it is, but lately I have not the film like 500 is light enough. It's beautiful, but I feel like I'd be wanting it lighter. <laughs> because it looks good, but to me it's giving natural, all right? This is the Morphe Conceal in the shade C 4.35. I don't know if these are still out. Is Morphe still selling for them? Are they completely off the grid? I don't know for sure, but I'm focusing it right here in the middle. Not a lot, because this is very light, but here's the thing. It's going to be layered on top of foundation in another concealer already, so it's not going to look the way that it did when I put it on. Do you see that? And then I'm focusing right here in the front. I'll blend some more in a sec, but let me just show you this side. Pinch the Beauty Blender and then focus it right here, because I want the highlight to really be, again, focused in the center of my face and look really good there. 
there. It's not gonna look stark and harsh over here because we're not putting it there. I'm keeping the contour the same, which is the LYS fit contour in the shade is no limits worthy. Again, keeping most of the stuff the same. And I know that this one's gonna show because this one is dark no matter what foundation I have on. This shade is amazing. Let me know if you use this one. I like it. It is creamy. It is so good and it blends really well. Blend this into the hairline, girl, because look at the shade difference on my scalp, which is okay. This is makeup, you feel me? But let's blend this into the hairline so it looks a little more decent. I think my skin looks phenomenal. I'm gonna come real close so you can see. Just wow. Granted, I have on contour and stuff, right? But just amazing. I've been enjoying this Givenchy Prisne Libre. I want to call the correct, the, the correct name. Matte finish and enhanced radiant blues powder. I didn't know this was radiant. Oh my god. I don't. I don't think that this is radiant. I see it more matte. Huh? Matte finish and enhanced radiant. Okay. The blend to me does not feel radiant. I really enjoy this. At first, I was intimidated because of all the different colors, but they mix in so beautifully. I tried the one that's darker than this. That one would more so be good for my face. Whereas this one, I love to set my highlighted areas. This is the number five, Popeline Mimosa. What I've been doing is taking this immediately immediately under my eyes where I tend to have the creasing. And I normally do it with a brush, but I'm being daring today. <laughs> Let's take it on the sponge. Back of the hand, right under here. Cause then I'm going to use my luminous powder under the eye. Cause I still want the highlight, but I want to set this to avoid creasing. And this is the Sephora 99 brush with the glowish powder, the luminous press one. This is the shade medium TN06. And this is going to give me the highlight that I want. I took the Givenchy powder down too much. So do you see this dry spot right here? I, I was being over jealous today. Normally I took a brush and I just go right under the eye and then do this all over the other areas. I made a mistake today. This is not the product. This is my user error. I went down too much. Let's see if I can, if this can be salvaged. If not, hopefully before this might finish my face, this has absorbed nicely. We're going to deepen this contour a little more with this elf powder foundation. The shade is rich 660N. I know it's redundant, but I want to show you that I really enjoy these products. No need to switch out the whole thing unless it's been ages, you feel me? This is gonna look real wild until I do my face powder, which will bring it all together. This is the Sephora 80 brush and the Micro Smooth in 85. And we're gonna put this in the face. Light coverage helps to bring it all together. Milk makeup, here is the highlighter in the shade Lit, bottom of the sponge, because it's still low damp, and I'm pinching and putting this right in the middle of my nose. It's gonna be more of a silver highlight. Now I'm gonna bring some warmth to my face with this Dennis Myrick's Yummy Skin Golden Hour Blush. My face is neutral, right, because of the foundation. This is definitely gonna warm it up. It is so pigmented, starting right here in the apple of my cheek and bringing this upward and backward. I do blend this into the contour, not necessarily on top. Some of y'all are doing this all, all kind of different stuff on TikTok and stuff. Mm -mm, man, let's stick with what I know, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stick with what I know. It's gonna blend in, but I'm not gonna put it on top of my cheek. Well, it gotta make sense, you know? <laughs> like. You know? I'm gonna do my quick and easy soft glam eyeshadow look with this Huda Matte Obsessions palette. I love this. All links to all the products I'm using are down below, FYI. I'm gonna use this part color in the crease and then this brown color on my eyelid. Still gotta bring the crease color down. Well, if you do it like how I do it. <laughs> bring the crease color down under the eye. I'm making it thick because when I do the brown, it's gonna be tighter, closer to my eye line. So I still wanna be able to see brown and then the reddish brown, brown and then the reddish brown. You see what I'm saying? If this reddish brown is too close to my eye, when I put the brown down, it's gonna overtake the reddish brown. So it won't be there, you feel me? And I want it to look like a sunset. Also too, another thing to note, because I did the brown smoky eye and I brought it down below, I intentionally just now brought it down lower than usual. And this conceals any fine lines. If for some reason your concealer below your eye is still creasing, it really shouldn't show if you have a dark color underneath. Huh? And let's add a Sephora gloss because this stuff is just so good. O2 Outrageous Plumping. It doesn't do that annoying tingling that plumping glosses tend to do. Because if it did, I would not be wearing it. It's just so good. And here's a finished look. I think my skin looks amazing. I love, like I said, how the blush adds warmth to my neutral face because of the foundation. And also the shade of the Micro Smooth Powder from Sephora is also neutral, I would say. Even just looking at it, it's giving neutral, you know? So let me know what you think about this look down below against my soft glam look. 
look. I feel like everyone should be able to nail a soft glam everyday look. And this looks fantastic. For $69, I like this foundation. And like I said, I'm gonna get a lighter color for the winter time because, you know, all links are below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.